Hey, how are you? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. It's time to do a product review, but before I get into that, I just want to say thanks to our sponsors, EmpireCovers.com, or you can go to EmpirePatioCovers.com, depending on what you're trying to cover. Cars, boats, whatever you need. Uh, as you guys saw last week, I got that nice cover on my barbecue. It's holding up just nice in the rain. It's beautiful, thick, good quality stitching. I'm pretty impressed. So check them out, and don't forget the discount code uh, with Empire Covers. You get 15% off if you just give them the discount code of JACK15. You guys benefit because you watch the show. I love that. Now, check this out. I get an email from Farberware. You guys have heard of Farberware. They do tons of kitchen stuff, knives and, and appliances and stuff. And the best thing about Farberware is that they may not be high-end. They may not be like uh, the best of the best, but they have great quality products and all of us can afford Farberware. That's what's cool about this brand. So you don't have to spend $100 on a knife. You can get one of their knives at a better price. They called me and they said, hey, we got this new uh, blender that we want you to, to check out. It's all programmable, uh, LED readout. Uh, it's, it's all pretty cool. Uh, it does shakes and it does you know smoothies like most blenders. But I like the fact that it's uh, just got buttons. So you hit the smoothie button. So you don't have to worry about how long. It's supposed to stop, I'm thinking, on its own. And also it turns ice into snow in seconds. You know I gotta try that out. All right, so let's just open this bad boy and we'll get it ready and we'll do some experimenting. Okay, here's what I know so far. Uh, this is a really, really big glass jug here. So I mean, there's some margarita action happening somewhere in the United States, I don't know where. But this is 56 ounces, seven cups. So you can, and I read in the book, I'm not gonna do it today, but this thing can help you make bread too. I have no idea how that works. Uh, I do know also, that it's got this handy dandy, uh, it's got two ounces measurements. You can go up to two ounces, one or two ounces shots if you want to make uh, alcoholic beverages, which I won't be using this for that. But, uh, and that's right on top, and you can just pour it right in the top and then blend away. Uh, the base is just, I mean, look how big the base is. It's beautiful, it's sturdy. This thing's nice. And then, uh, and I'm not a blender fan, but this one, ooh, nice and tight fit. It's got a six, uh, six blade system. There's six blades in there. Uh, two straight out, two up, and two down, which helps move everything around. One of the other things they brag about, which uh, I think is kind of cool, you know, if you're not using it, you can wrap your cord down here and just clip it right there. It's got like a cord management thing underneath here. Me personally, I just let the cord hang out. Uh, my blender's always out. And then you can see that uh, you got a low stir a medium blend, high crush, that, or the ice, uh, ice crush right there. You got a high pulse, medium pulse, low pulse, soups, shakes, smoothies, frozen drinks, easy clean. It even helps you clean. It's got a self-cleaning, it's like an oven. Okay, so I just ended the cord and it's not really long enough. If you see here, I wish this cord was a little longer, guys. So if for any reason you can do improvements in the future, uh, I need a little bit longer of a cord so I can reach an outlet. I'm going to have to go get an extension cord. But, uh, you know, that's, that's the first thing I noticed. So let me get this plugged in. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about this motor that's in here, it's 600 watts. Let me give you an idea. Uh, you remember the Ninja that I like so much? That is, uh, uh, the one I have is a 400 watt. This is more powerful than the Ninja blender that I have. All right, bear with me as I make a mess as I always do. I'm the laziest guy there is. So I just pulled the whole tray out of my ice maker. And I'm just gonna put some in. All right, here's the high ice crush button. Within seconds, I put my hand on top as always for safety reasons. Here's the button, let's see what happens. I don't even know if it's gonna turn off by itself, but we'll take a look. It didn't work. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not seeing snow yet. Let's try it again. Put it down there. Let's pulse it. It's 
still not working. Huh. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give the ice one more test real quick. I'll put a small amount in, see what happens. There we go. That should turn into snow, right? It's only half full. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. All right, I'm not getting it. Next thing we're gonna do, we're making a smoothie and I have chosen orange juice. I'm using strawberry Greek yogurt and pineapple, pineapple Greek yogurt, throwing that in there, and some ice. Here we go. Here's strawberry Greek yogurt. A little splash of orange juice. A little bit of ice. A little bit more ice. There we go. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, that's weird. That's pretty cool. It keeps going. I like that control. All right, so it gives it a burst and a burst. So anything that settles, pops it right back up. That worked out nice. Okay, let's see how it looks. Let's see. What do you think? That look good? Let's give us a try here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Still a little piece of ice in there, but beautiful. It worked out good, see? You blend it all. Can you see in there? There you go. Yeah, it's awesome. Pretty strong. I like how it's already pre-programmed to burst and then burst and then burst. It's all clean. Let's make our shake now. Brand new vanilla bean ice cream. Put a big bunch of this in there. I love bananas. So we're going to drop a banana in there. I'm not even going to break it up. I'm just going to leave it just like that. And a little organic low-fat milk. Here we go. Let's see, where's the shake button? Shakes. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's really cool. Okay, I don't know if that's programmed to only do it twice, Jolt, but once it had chopped everything up, it goes into regular blending mode. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, here's a little tip here. If you don't have uh, chocolate syrup, just take a little hot fudge, right? And pour it in the glass and completely move the glass around. See what I'm doing? Just pouring on the edge, rotating the glass, and pouring a little hot fudge in there. Okay. And it tends to make a little bit of a mess. See what it does? It coats the outside, right? Then you take your shake and you pour it right in the center. And there you go. See how it looks on the outside? Isn't it cool? Kind of a cool little design dessert. Kids like hot fudge too. All right, here we go. Mmm. Wow. Really sweet. I'm not used to sweet things. I don't normally eat ice cream. So that's all I'm going to do. That's all I got to try. It blended perfectly. I like the whole pre-programmed bursts. That's kind of cool. Um, so, wow, came out nice. Okay, what do we know? It could use a longer cord. 
Uh, didn't make the snow like you promised on the outside of the box, which would be kind of cool because I'd like to do snow cones with uh, Jack Jr. That'd be awesome. But it did have a powerful motor like you promised. Six blade system. It's got the computerized bursting. Uh, Pre-programmed settings, which is really cool. And uh, so I don't have to do everything manually. I just put it in and let it go. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a good value. It's a well-built blender. Uh, real solid. Nice look, too. So uh, if you know somebody that's in the need of a blender, I'd say go for it. Give it a try. Farberware. Thanks, guys, for sending it to the show. I think I'm going to donate this to the church or something because I have a million blenders. So, uh, But it, they're going to love it. I will see you on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care.